Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Amelia. Welcome back to my channel and back for another video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my 5K experience, how it went, and why I think you should run a 5K too. Yes, you. So this past weekend, I participated in the Cherry Blossom Washington DC 5K, which is about 3.12 miles, something like that. And it was my first race, my first time running, especially in a group of people. And it took a minute to get there, but I'm really glad that I did it. It was, you know, it was definitely a challenge, but your girl did it. She got her medal. She came home with the gold. <laughs> training for a 5K is definitely different than training in the gym. And I feel like it's a different mentality that is super rewarding because when you're running, you're really by yourself. You're solo, you, you against you. It's not easy, I'm not gonna lie here and say like it's super easy, especially if you don't have any background like me. I've never ran track or field. I've never ran for any reason. Full long distance running was not my thing, <laughs> okay? I've always seen runners like fall on my For You page and I always admired it. You know, I admire the discipline it takes to be a runner and the, the how they continue time and time again to collect all these medals and be in all these races. But when 2024 came, I was like, okay, let's put this on the vision board let's at least try a baby one let's try a 5k let's try a 3.12 and we're gonna do the cherry blossom one in dc because it's like one of the biggest ones there was like over 6,000 people at this race which is crazy when i think about it the program i followed was couch to 5k which is pretty popular and i've used it before during the pandemic because during the pandemic, running was probably one of the only things that got me out the house and kind of kept my cardio going. It is free, but if you want the entire eight week program, it is $15. I did cancel it after my 5K because it did what it needed to do and I didn't need it anymore. So I'm not paying monthly subscriptions for no reason. I do still recommend that program. I think it's super good for beginners. You start off walking, you jog a little bit, then you go back to walking and it's very, very, very beginner friendly. I do recommend looking back at it to start earlier. I was kind of timing it to fall when the my race actually was. So for example, um, my race was in April. I started it in February. If I was thinking more on it, I probably should have started running in January just so when I came to race day, doing 3.1 miles was nothing. Like that's the kind of mindset that I should have went in. And looking back, that's probably the biggest thing I would have changed was like being able to run five miles and it being nothing. That way the actual 5K 3.1 mile race would be easy. I didn't really change my eating habits, which is another thing I would probably have changed. Um, maybe just eating way more cleaner just so my body had the energy and the substance that it needed the sustenance that it needed to carry out running because running is really a full body workout you're burning these calories and you're hungry all the time no one really warned me about the hunger burning 400 or something calories during a run and then you're you're starving after like i'm talking straight hangry after a run okay and that's something um that really blew my mind i want to get into why you should run a 5k or into your health and wellness and if you want to improve your cardiovascular health this is something that i think everyone should do so number one which I'm sure a lot of you are like really looking forward to, is the fat loss. Of course, with running and upping your steps and upping how many calories you burn in a day and staying in a caloric deficit and eating the right things, you're gonna lose fat. Now granted, I did not weigh myself before I started running and I did not weigh myself after, only because I did. I don't like the scale anyways. I don't, I don't think it's completely accurate on what is slimming down on me and what isn't. I think pictures are better. I like to take pictures, I like to take measurements. So I definitely have some, I think I've taken some pictures of just how my back has slimmed, my arms, my shoulders, this whole area, like my waistline, of course, ladies, we love a little slim waistline. You know, all of that definitely slimmed down with running. And it's definitely changed the way I think about food. And I was really thinking about food as fuel, because if you eat crap before a run and then you go running, your body is not happy, it is going to shut down on you. I do think that running has taken the pressure of thinking about weight loss so much. I think when we enter these weight loss journeys, we become obsessed with weight loss and like doing everything that we can. And I feel like running three times a week, which is what the regimen I was following with the Couch to 5K plan, running three times a week really kind of took the weight off your shoulders of thinking 
about weight <laughs> so much. I don't know why I said that. Second reason I say that everyone should run a 5K is to kind of push yourself into a challenge of cardiovascular health. So essentially, I've talked about walking a lot on this channel, especially in my slim waist video of how walking has transformed my you know, my fat loss journey and really t attacking stubborn fat areas I feel like weren't getting um, any slimmer, especially as we enter our 30s. I feel like all of that slows down, just kind of like metabolism and burning fat and all these other things that we want to do. And I feel like walking was definitely like the best cardio I could have chosen. Um, but after walking for miles a day, you know, like two, three miles or so, it's like, I kind of wanted to go faster. I don't know how to explain it. So I wanted to start jogging. And that's what's so great about the Couch to 5K program because you're walking and then you're running for a little bit and then you go back to walking, you know, you go back to what you know and it definitely helps graduate you into the running community and I really liked that. We're looking for something to really, you know, push your cardiovascular just a little bit more. This interval training, you know, the running and the walking with Couch to 5K, I think is really great. And eight weeks will pass by and you'll just be like, I'm actually jogging for 10 minutes and I'm not dying. Third reason why I think you should go and sign up for a 5K is because of the discipline that comes along with it. I feel like if you're in life kind of like just floating by and having no real purpose feeling, I know sometimes we get like that and I can, you kind of feel like your to-do lists aren't getting done, things aren't working out, things aren't in order, things aren't organized. I think running and just being into fitness in general, but we're gonna focus on running. I feel like running really keeps you disciplined. If you're training for a 5K or even a 10K, whatever it may be, you have to be disciplined. You don't wanna show up on race day, though some people do this, but you don't wanna show up on race day having no experience with running. It's it's not enjoyable, it's a death sentence. You're gonna feel like crap. <laughs> so with running, you definitely wanna plan a schedule. You wanna see, you know, what, you know, you wanna get your pace up. You wanna see how many miles you could accomplish this day. You're, you're, you're getting up, you're being organized. You're having your clothes ready to go for your run. You're scheduling your run around work and putting things in order on your to-do list. Like it helps you slowly get into a more disciplined routine. Even after the race, you know, I don't wanna fall off my routine. I don't wanna fall off and like kind of dwindle back into like slummy time, you know? Um, but yeah, I think that's like a really great reason to sign up for a 5K. And lastly, but most importantly, I think everyone should sign up for four or five Ks because you're really learning more about yourself and learning this new skill. I've learned so much about my body and what I can handle and my mentality has changed. It's really self challenging. Running is you versus you. And I always thought that was so corny when people said it, but it really is you against you out there. And if you feel slow, like sluggish and you want to slow down and everything, you got to talk to yourself through that. <laughs> if you're going to run a 5k race, you don't want to shoot yourself down for 45 minutes <laughs> about how you just can't do this, but you can, you know? So for myself, I learned, you know, my walk and my runs, I was really inner with my feet placement, you know, and I actually found that out from running. I was wondering about knee pain that I was having. So because I was running, I learned more about my knees and my ligaments and things like that. And that turned into me going to a professional place that for runners to, you know, get measured, see where my pressure, um, different areas of my feet were being pressurized. Um, if that makes sense and just kind of seeing how I run how I walk and finding shoes that support those and support me on my day-to-day -day life kind of learned more about you know stretching what does that really look like what's really a good stretch you know what I mean like what what's really warming up your body because once you start running those first 10 minutes you're gonna feel whatever you skipped <laughs> you're gonna feel that your quads probably need more extra time to stretch versus your hamstrings different things like that everyone's so unique and different so it's always fun to hear like what other people are struggling with and like maybe you can help them and they can help you and it's a really a great sense of community I really think learning more about your physical capability and what your body can do and what your mentality can be is really beneficial in life overall those are my main reasons why i think you should try a 5k i know it's challenging and i know it's scary but 
Don't be afraid to step out and challenge yourself, challenge your body, challenge your mentality, see how far you can go. And you can know, you can always just say, I tried it, didn't care for it, but I accomplished it. And leave it at that and try something new. But I think running is always just a good entry point for that discipline, for that self-awareness, that self-motivation, learning more about your body. Like it's a beautiful cycle. I understand the runner's cult. <laughs> I understand the runner's high now. And you know, it's great to be here. If you guys wanna hear specifically about how I trained exactly for the 5K, let me know down below. I can make another follow-up video to this one. Or if you wanna learn more about the 5K race day and how that went and all that jazz, let me know down below as well. Give me a like if you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe and join me for the next one and I'll see you later. Bye!